This is the 2024 Polestar 2, in this case the single motor long range version. Had some cosmetic changes, not a lot, still the same basic body, but inside substantial improvements. For instance, it's now rear wheel drive instead of front wheel drive. There's a big increase in horsepower too. Get in, it's time for Family Wheels. Now that you're plugged in, please give our Polestar review a like. Your likes keep Family Wheels charged up. While you're doing that, subscribe and click the little bell for notification when a review drops. And for today's short attention spans, our Shorts feed has one minute reviews of some vehicles. Thanks! There have been only the smallest of changes to the exterior of the Polestar. Uh, yes, there is a change in the front. There's a solid panel now. Inside, though, we have a bigger battery, uh, 82 kilowatt hours, 79 usable. Plus, Polestar has made that battery chemistry more efficient, uh, using bigger motors now. So we're getting uh, a lot more horsepower, 295, an increase of more than 60 horsepower from the previous edition of the single motor Polestar. It's no longer a front wheel drive car, it's rear wheel drive, and uh, that of course is the fun mode if you've only got two wheels driven. So with 295 horsepower just to the rear wheels, what happens when you hit the pedal? So I'm going to do a 90 degree turn at slow speed and then hit the gas right about here, gas. And the traction control took over immediately. You are completely safe. Here we have a stated range of 515 kilometers or 320 miles. That's 20% more than the previous version of the Polestar 2 single motor. However, and I think to their considerable credit, Polestar has the, the stated range, you can select that, okay, 515 kilometers, but you can also select kind of a real world range based on its estimation, what the computer thinks your range is based on your driving. And when I plugged in uh, last night, got in this morning, got up to 100%, it says I've got a 400 kilometer range. I do prefer that more honest approach. Now as to charging time, Polestar says that you can go on a level two charger, zero to 100% in eight hours. Now on a level three, Polestar says you can go from 10 to 80% in 28 minutes. None of the literature I saw specified how many kilowatts they were pumping into that vehicle. Polestar does say that this vehicle will accept a rate of up to uh, 205 kilowatts and that its overall charging is 34% faster than the previous single motor. One of the best aspects of any Polestar is what I just did. I got in the car and I'm ready to go. There's no push button start, no key to insert. Climb in, press the brake pedal, Engage reverse, check your surroundings, and away you go. It's a remarkable feature. Being a compact sedan, we can't expect a lot from the Polestar 2 suspension on our neighborhood bumpy road, but let's find out. I've got to say, it's handling the, uh, the potholes as well as the patches and the speed bumps very well indeed. I'm really fond of how Polestar implements one pedal driving. It just really is so, so smooth. Kind of a set it and forget it approach. And there are no paddles here to adjust the regen. You can do that through the menus, uh, but then again, whatever you like, set it and forget it. Just go out and drive, enjoy your electric car. If uh, you like subdued, tasteful Scandinavian style, you're going to love Polestar. This is actually wood, but it's the same gray color, gray and black uh, color, as the rest of the interior. We also have accent lighting, it too. Very subtle here and here. I think it's quite tasteful. Various options are available, no matter what package, they're all in the best of taste. Nice little touch of the illuminated Polestar symbol here inside the shifter. And there's even a little Polestar symbol hidden in this area, but it reflects off the moonroof. Cute touch. If you're the kind of driver who has to have knobs for heating, ventilation, radio, and so forth, this is not the car for you. If you're comfortable with menus and particularly with voice commands, this is the car for you. 
There can be a lot of switching between various entertainment and vehicle function pages, but the climate control soft buttons are usually visible or return with a single swipe. More significantly for convenience and ultimately safety, the Google operating system is built into the vehicle. You can control many functions by speaking commands just as you would to a smartphone or smart speaker, and it works well. I've said this about uh, Polestar and Volvo. This implementation of Google Maps is the absolute hands down, all of fame, best navigation system I've ever encountered in a car. Polestar 2 does have enough room for our standard cargo of three bags of groceries, a backpack, and a stroller, but not a lot more, particularly with the steep angle uh, of the roof at the rear for the hatchback or the lift gate or whatever you want to call it. Underneath here we have a small bin, no spare tire. There's of course the charging cable that comes uh, with electric vehicles. And in this side panel, a 12 volt, 120 watt outlet. There's also a clever pop-up divider for smaller loads. use in terms of child seats. Our rear-facing child seat, the one that takes up the most space, is behind me. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, 180 centimeters, and up front my knees are not touching the glove box. Quite comfortable in fact. Well, I wouldn't call it generous, but there is just enough room for me in the back of the Polestar. My knees are not touching the seat in front of me, and there is just enough headroom as well. Niceties include heated rear seats with this package, two USB-C ports, and the panoramic moonroof, which is heat-reflecting glass and does not have a screen. It's made by the same French company that supplies the Mustang Mach-E. Three add-on packages are available. The Pilot Pack includes adaptive cruise control, highway driving assist, and cornering lights. The Plus Pack we have here includes a heated steering wheel, heated rear seats, power front seats with lumbar adjustment, panoramic non-opening moonroof, Harman Kardon sound, power tailgate with foot sensor, heat pump, digital key, and pop-up trunk divider. The Performance Pack dials the motors up to 455 horsepower and has suspension and chassis upgrades such as Olin's dampers and Brembo brakes. Well, that's our look at the considerably improved Polestar 2, the single motor long range for 2024. What do you think? Leave a comment. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, and thanks for subscribing. I'm Richard Detman, and I'll see you next time on Family Wheels.